I would say I'm the first guy in America who has the Rosoma winglets on a new Gen 6 2022 ZX10R. What is up YouTube, Golden State Rider over here. I'm here back with another video. And actually on today's topic, uh, I wanna review my new winglets in Rosoma uh, mirror winglet or just winglet. So you're, as you all know, um, the newer 2022 ZX10R, the mirrors were same as fourth generation. So basically beginning, I believe 2010 or 2011, ZX10R did not change the mirrors the only difference from 2021 and up the only thing that they changed was the led lights inside of the mirror and it gives the bike a real cool looking and you're able to use them as a mirror by just twisting them like that you're able to turn them into a mirror um and then mirror wise there that's how they look from side to side and they don't really look bad compared to stock like I said, I'm a fan of keeping my stock mirrors. I really didn't have a problem with it. It didn't bug me at all. But I didn't realize how bulky and big they are until I got these on. 2021 and 2022 ZX10R, uh, because of the color and these black uh, fairings over here and shades, this black um, Rizoma winglets will go with the rest of the bike. Because like previous generation, the KRT edition which is all green this whole front was green so technically if i would just put one of these winglets on it it would like look ugly like everything is green and then these two black pieces sticking out just like ugly <laughs> As I was saying, um, I was gonna show you guys how the mirror, how the wings look like from the cockpit or from like where you have the control of the bike. Well, there are a few pros and cons for having these uh, winglet mirrors. Man, today it's really cold. Like right now, outside is like 50s. Like San Francisco Bay Area two weeks ago was like mid 80s or so but today i don't know why the hell i decided to do my motor walk today but for some reason it's extremely cold like i'm freezing right now and i just got out of shower like literally 10 minutes ago so back to the topic the reason i wanted it uh the new winglets are because first they i want to have a better looking bike and second of all it'll give you a down downforce third of all it just looks good the way they are and like i like the color and they're super light these winglets they are super light though like compared to the stock i feel i didn't really weight the stock mirrors but um i believe stock mirrors both together they are about um five pounds or less but these winglets together they're less than half a pound they're super light though i would say i'm the first guy in america who has the rosoma winglets on a new gen 6 2022 zx10r not that i'm proud of that but it's just I, I didn't see it or if anyone else has it they didn't post it on youtube or they just didn't post it online some people do like stock mirrors some don't but uh, i did like it it's not like i didn't like my front mirrors uh, I just because the reason I like them it's because I like to know what's going on behind my back as I'm riding or I'm at the red light or something like that I mean if you see something's coming towards you or like in your in traffic or something so you'll have a better idea of what's going on around you and all of that not having a front mirrors basically if you're in a higher speed you can focus better on the road and that's my opinion because uh, there's been a few times that I've been riding with my buddies around freeway we were like a little speeding and then I was constantly checking on my back to see if he's able to catch up or not or like to see if I'm being chased by the cops or not so that's a little distracting you know even if, if in your higher speed right you want to focus what's going on around you you want to focus basically what's in front of you not behind you that's why in track they don't let you run your rear view mirrors that's how they look from like the rider point of view how they look like they're a little bit smaller as far as like the expand goes like 
facing this way they're a little bit smaller than uh, stock so when I say smaller they're like the stock one like they're over here this one like a little shorter so technically uh, once you have your mirrors once you like rotate them to get use the mirror side of the winglets um, you have a better view on your stock mirrors than your um, winglets winglets are really cool but you can't let's say if you were able to use 100% of your stock front mirrors on these new winglets you're able to use it only like 50% for basic stuff let's go ahead and open them and use them as a mirror so while you do that you can either do it just like that but I mean make sure you're safe to the way you want it or you can just park on the side and do it that way so just whichever if I were you I would park on the side because you will get a better angle on the mirrors right now I'm running them as a rear view mirrors um, I don't know if you can see me but like I can't see what's going on around me uh, I'm trying to focus my camera to the mirror so you can see if I open my arms you'll be able to see what's going on around me but as I have my arms on the handlebar I really can't see behind my back I, I, like I can see a little bit but I have to work really hard and get over like this or just like have my hand like sitting on my lap so I can see through there I don't know if you guys can see it or not but that's how they are the top position when you're in a top position uh, I'm trying to like you would have to lower him down a little bit so there we go unless up this is if that's your arms you kind of have your arms like a little bit inside as you're holding to the handlebar so you can see around you you know so this is like in a tuck I would say like kind of in tuck position I can still see a little bit what's going on but like not a lot let's say while you're stopping at the red light or something you're able to see it you see what's going on behind your back a little bit and then let's say I don't know if you can see the the mirrors over here but like as you're holding onto your throttle this arm will prevent your it'll block your view bro really basically and then, and then uh, let's say on this newer ZX10 horse there is a cruise control like if but the reason I said if you remove your hand you're able to see what's going on behind your back um, it, because the hand that you're holding the throttle with you can't let it off so if you're cruising on your cruise control then you can't let it off like this and then see what's going on behind your back there are a little bit I would say if you're getting this don't count on it as your primary mirrors just get them for the look of the bike because as far as the mirror goes you can't really count on them however they are helpful and you're able to get what you need from it but just get it for the look of the bike and for the downforce don't look at it as your rear view mirror also look at it the way that you're saving a ton of weight like you're giving up five pounds of stock to like a half a pound or then let's say if you didn't like the way you're using it as a mirror then you can just go ahead and put them up like that and they're super easy to rotate they're screw underneath that you can also see how snug you want it and how loose when you are rotating the mirrors like let's say you want to use it for a mirror they're really easy to rotate see they just like go literally they go all the way to the other side and they come back just like that so they're easy they're easy to work with they're not that hard I thought about uh, giving you guys review on my new winglets let me know what you think about it I have a, a lot of more cool videos coming up around about the bike a lot of modifications that are coming if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe to the channel hit that bell icon so every time I post a new video or content you will be notified as well as drop a like dislike and if you're enjoying the content make sure to subscribe to it so far I'm sitting at 600 um, subscriber so help me and smash subscribe button so that way I can get to a thousand subscriber 
and as I see more love I will be encouraged to post more about the motorcycle whether it's this motorcycle or all other bikes that I work on and I'll be able to share uh, my knowledge with you all about motorcycle whether this bike or all other bikes thank you for your support thank you for showing me some love this is it for today thank you and have a great day